Hello, students. My name is Ifis Alauddin. Do you know where am I right now? Yes, I'm in the middle of a jungle. Can you name all of the wildlife that you see here? Our topic today is life on Earth. In this lesson, we learn about wildlife and endangered species. We'll also revise some rules for countable and uncountable nouns. In the listening activity, you listen to a conversation about whales. And in the speaking activity, you learn how to express your preferences. Are you ready now? Let's begin. Look at all the animals on your screen. What are they? Listen and repeat the animals. Butterfly Gorilla Polar bear Turtle Tiger Whale Rhinoceros Penguin Crocodile Elephant Do you know what these animals are in danger? They are the top 10 endangered species in the world. Endangered species is a type of animal that may soon disappear from the world. They are considered to be facing an extremely high risk of extinction in the wild. Extinction is a situation in which something no longer exists. For example, the extinction of the dinosaurs occurred millions of years ago. That's why we don't see any more dinosaur today. So, if an animal is an endangered species, it means that they might stop existing because there are only a few of that type alive. Do you know what are the causes? Let's find out why. Hotter summers and colder winters are making it difficult for this monarch butterfly to survive. People are destroying the forest where the mountain gorilla lives. Large areas of ice where the polar bear hunts for food are melting. Tourists are disturbing the leatherback sea turtle which lays its egg on beaches. It's illegal, but people still hunt the tiger for its skin. People in some countries eat real meat. People hunt the rhinoceros for its horn, which is very valuable. In some parts of the world, the penguin can't find enough fish to eat. are building houses and roads in areas where the crocodile lives. Hunters kill this animal because elephant tusks are worth a lot of money. So, that's the reason the animals become endangered. <sighs> Which animals do you have in your country? You can make the sentences with We have a lot of or We have lots of For example, We have a lot of tigers in Malaysia You can also use We have quite a few of We have a few or We have a small number of for example, 
we have a quite a few of elephants in our country. And lastly, you can also use we don't have any at all or we don't have many. For example, because of our climate, we don't have any penguin except the ones at the zoo. Now, try to answer the questions using the sentences. Here's a little bit of revision on the use of some, any, much, many, and a lot of. We have two types of nouns. Countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Look at the first table here. We use some with plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns. For example, it's home to some rescued animals. I need some information about volunteering. In negative sentences and questions, we use any with plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns. For example, are there any giraffes? There wasn't any time to go on a safari. Meanwhile, for much, many, and a lot of, we use a lot of with plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns. For example, there are a lot of things to do. We had a lot of fun on holiday. In negative sentences and questions, we use many with plural countable nouns. For example, we didn't see any wild animals. How many endangered species live there? And last but not least, we use much with uncountable nouns in negative sentences and questions. There isn't much water in the river. How much food will we need? Now, it's time for our listening activity. In this activity, you're going to listen to Chris and Lucy talking about a project that they have to do. And you need to answer some questions based on their conversation. So, let's look at the questions first. Please take out a pen and paper and copy these questions. The first question is, what mistakes does Chris make? Next, why does Lucy think whales are intelligent? What do whales do when people watch them from boats? What does Chris say people aren't allowed to do anymore? Why are ships dangerous to animals? Which animals does Chris want to write about? Based on the question given, can you guess what will be the topic of the conversation? Yes, whales! Fun facts about whale. Whales are mammals because they give birth to their babies instead of laying eggs. They have fur, although it is very thinly dispersed on their body. They breathe air through lungs and they provide milk for their young. They're very interesting, right? Now, let's get back to our lesson. You're going to listen to the conversation twice. So don't worry if you can't get all the answers for the first time. So, are you ready with your questions? 
Let's begin. Which endangered animal are you going to do your project on? Whales, I think. I found this article about them on the internet and they are really amazing animals, you know. What's so amazing about them? Well, first of all, they are intelligent. For one thing, they've got their own language. What do you mean? Fish can't talk. They aren't fish. Honestly, Chris, don't you listen anything in science class? They're mammals. Okay, if you say so. Anyway, whales make sounds under the ocean in order to communicate with other whales. Really? I didn't know that. Yes, and they are very friendly animals too. When people go whale watching, the whales swim near the boats and look at the people. Wow! I'd love to see a real whale. Me too, but soon there might not be any. Why not? Whale hunting isn't allowed anymore, is it? No, but they still do it in some countries. Another problem is ships. Ships? Yes, sometimes ships hit whales and kill them by mistake. That's terrible. I know. Anyway, what are you doing your project on? Um, I haven't decided yet. Maybe snakes. Snakes? They aren't an endangered species, are they? No, but I know a lot about them. My brother's got a pet snake, you see. You're joking! Yuck! Well, how was the conversation? Did you manage to get all the answers? If you're not sure, let's listen to the conversation one more time. Which endangered animal are you going to do your project on? Whales, I think. I found this article about them on the internet and they are really amazing animals, you know. What's so amazing about them? Well, first of all, they are intelligent. For one thing, they've got their own language. What do you mean? Fish can't talk. They aren't fish. Honestly, Chris, don't you listen anything in science class? They're mammals. Okay, if you say so. Anyway, whales make sounds under the ocean in order to communicate with other whales. Really? I didn't know that. Yes, and they are very friendly animals too. When people go whale watching, the whales swim near the boats and look at the people. Wow! I'd love to see a real whale. Me too, but soon there might not be any. Why not? Whale hunting isn't allowed anymore, is it? No, but they still do it in some countries. Another problem is ships. Ships? Yes, sometimes ships hit whales and kill them by mistake. That's terrible. I know. Anyway, what are you doing your project on? Um, I haven't decided yet. Maybe snakes. Snakes? They aren't an endangered species, are they? No, but I know a lot about them. My brother's got a pet snake, you see. You're joking! Yuck! From the conversation, we learned that whales is an intelligent and friendly animal. 
but because of human activities, they have become one of the endangered species. Now, let's see if you get all the answers correct. Number one. What mistakes does Chris make? Yes, he thinks whales are fish. Although they live in water like fish, but they are marine mammals. Next, why does Lucy think whales are intelligent? They've got their own language. They make sounds under the ocean to communicate with other whales. Question 3. What do whales do when people watch them from boats? They swim near the boats and look at the people. They're very friendly. Question number 4. What does Chris say people aren't allowed to do anymore? Yes, hunt whales or whale hunting. Moving on to the next question. Why are ships dangerous to animals? They hit them and kill them by mistake. And lastly, which animals does Chris want to write about? Snakes. It's not an endangered species, but his brother got a pet snake. Do you get all the answers correct? Excellent! We've talked about some endangered species of animals that are gradually decreasing in population or facing extinction due to our negative impacts on nature. Humans are harming the wildlife in many ways and causing many species of animals, birds and insects to disappear over time. So, instead of becoming a problem for the wildlife, you could try to become a part of the solution. From time to time, there are events or voluntary activities in your area that you can participate in. Volunteering is a great way to help the local community learn new skills and make new friends. Many of the conservationist group are looking for volunteers and support from the community. Oh, wow! I got an email about volunteering. Let's find out what's in the email. and do something useful this weekend. Are you aged 13 to 16? We need you for these great volunteer days. Work with wildlife. Find out what it's like to work in a zoo. You can help the zookeepers for a day. Duties including feeding some of the animals or cleaning the penguin pool more activities available. Wow, this is great. The volunteering opportunity looks very interesting. Do you care for animals? Let's listen to this conversation. Hi everyone, I'm at the zoo now. Hello there, how can I help? Hello. I'd like to sign up for the volunteer day. Great! Do you want to help in the zoo gift shop? That's a great idea, but I want to help wildlife. I'd rather do something with the animals. Okay, how about cleaning the penguin pool? Well, I don't mind cleaning, but I don't really like water. Could I feed the animals? 
yes, maybe that's a better idea for you. You can help one of the zookeepers feed the giraffes. Thanks. That sounds more interesting than the other task. No problem. Do you need any details from me? Yes. Could you please fill in this form? Okay. That's usually how the conversation goes if you want to do volunteering activities at the zoo. Do you notice how he expressed his preferences? He used sentences like, I like to. Hello, I'd like to sign up for the volunteer day. It's a nice idea, but... That's a nice idea, but I want to help wildlife. I'd rather or I prefer to... I'd rather do something with the animals. I don't mind. Well, I don't mind cleaning, but I don't really like water. Maybe something else is a better idea. Yes, maybe that's a better idea for you. That is or that sounds more interesting or fun than that sounds more interesting than the other task. For your information, we use I rather plus infinitive. For example, I rather help animals. We use I prefer plus two plus infinitive. I prefer to help a person. Now, it's your turn to try the speaking activity. Look again at the web page. I have other activities for you to try. The first one, clean a beach. Join one of our green teams at your local beach on Saturday and help to pick up litter. The second one, help some insects. Bees and butterflies are disappearing from the countryside. Plant flowers that will help to bring them back. Between these two, which volunteer day activity is best for you? Make a list of reasons why one activity is better than the others. For example, I prefer to work with people. Or, I like flowers and plants, but I'm scared of insects. Don't forget to use all the sentences that I gave you earlier to express your preferences. Now, after you have a complete list of your preferences, find a partner to work on the conversation of your own. You can start the conversation like this. A. Hello, I like to sign up for the volunteer day. B. Great, do you want to work with people? Take your time to work on the dialogue. You can practice with your partner. Don't forget to take a video of your conversation and show it to your teacher later. Now, we have reached the end of our lesson. I hope you enjoy learning about wildlife, whales and volunteering activities that you can do to protect life on Earth. May all the information you learn in this lesson help you to improve your English language. And together, we have a better chance of protecting our nature.
and ecosystem. Till next time, bye bye.